the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. My man Sean, the pirate man. What up, brother? We ready to do this today? You three beating those teachers special Halloween. Whoa! Oh, man, our teachers look so good. Happy Halloween, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Are we ready to have a spooktacular time? It's a special episode with our students who look so good over here and our teachers on the left. I'm serious, I'm scared of some of these costumes over here. They're looking so good. They're what's on the line today? Well, first, it's our students and teachers from Perky Omen Valley Middle School East in Montgomery County. They are officially in the classroom and today it's all about Halloween. Plus $500 and bragging rights to say, not only am I smarter than you, but I'm smarter than you on Halloween. Look how ghoulish everyone looks out there. Everybody's rocking. The cheering section is ready. Let's get super, y'all. It's game time. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, time officially starts right now. During the Olympics, what color medal is awarded for third place? First one in, Dr. B, Mr. B. Bronze. Bronze is right. How many Dalmatians are in the title of the children's book, which was made into a film by Walt Disney? Mr. Bernhold, again. 101. 101 is right. The San Andreas Fault is a plate boundary in what U.S. state? Mr. Bernhold, again. California. California is right. Iron Man, you are unbelievable. <laughs> what is the name of the vampire queen in the Cartoon Network TV series Adventure Time? Matilda. Marceline. Marceline is right. You guys are on the board with 10 points. The quote, give me liberty or give me death, is attributed to what founding father who was a major figure in the American Revolution? Zarek. Oh. Brent Franklin. Teachers, for the steal, if you know it. We move on. That was Patrick Henry is what we were looking for. What major mountain range in the United States forms part of the Continental Divide known as the Great Divide? Matilda? Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains is right. How about this one? Extra credit. Students, you guys haven't tasted the lead yet. It could be right here. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Delaware? Matilda? D-E. D-E is right. In the NHL, the Canadians represent what city in Canada? Sean? Montreal. Oh, Montreal. What is the term for the second leg of the triangular trade route that moved enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean to the New World? No answers there. We're looking for the middle passage. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Oh my goodness. I am digging what I'm seeing right now. Not only is everybody dressed up for Halloween, but students, you guys came out ready, geared up. Zarek, Sean, and Matilda, you guys got the 50 points. And our teacher's looking good over here. I'm telling you, I'm digging what you guys are bringing. You guys got up to 30. Hey, today, we have the students and teachers from Perky Omen Valley Middle School East in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. They call themselves home of the Vikings. Today, they're calling themselves all sorts of different things. What do you guys say? We meet some of our players. Hi, I'm Matilda Fisher. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm on the debate team and a co-captain of the soccer team. The teachers had better watch out because I play to win. Hi, I'm Zarek Moore. My favorite subject is social studies. I'm in eighth grade, and the teachers are going down. Hello, I'm Sean Wagner, and I'm in eighth grade, and Mr. Bernholt is awful at art. Hi, I'm Chris Bernholt. I'm the art teacher. I made this costume, and the end of the day might be now, but the kids are about to get schooled. Hi, I'm Annie Dolan. I teach math and social studies. I used to want to save the world. Today, I want to beat those students. Hi, I'm Greg Kersinger. I teach seventh and eighth grade science. And let's see if we can rope these kids into a loss. Today might be a little bit different because we're wearing costume, but the trash talk remains. And that trash talk could end them up in detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. 
If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, I'm gonna start with the trailing team teachers. You guys are down 20 points right here with 30 on the board. So here we go. How do you feel about science? Play. Let's play. All right, we got a science teacher on this team. Let's see how you guys do. What is the term for a sleeping volcano that is currently not showing activity, but might possibly erupt again? Dormant. Yeah, that's what I would say. Dormant. Dormant? A dormant volcano is right. You guys got off to a good start there. I hate to do this to you guys because you look so good, but one of you is going to detention. Who's that going to be? Matilda. Uh, Matilda. Matilda <laughs> headed to the graveyard. <laughs> Even detention is themed today. All right, you stay right there. And students, we go over to you guys. All right. How do you feel about the category of geography? Mm. Play. Yeah, play. The Nile River flows downhill in which cardinal direction? South. Incorrect. It's north is the right answer there. Sorry, guys. That's going to end one of you in detention. Whose game is coming to an end here, guys? Zarek. Zarek. Uh, we're going to go with Zarek. Zarek, out of there. It's his birthday today, guys. So give him a big happy birthday as he heads to detention. Zarek, is this the, bir the best birthday gift you've ever gotten? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. You've had better ones. Hopefully a car will be in your future, right? All right, teachers, we go back to you. Category is YouTube. Play. 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 Illinois is home to what professional battle royale player and streamer whose real name is Tyler Blevins? Anything from our class. <laughs> you gotta dig Ninja. Iron Man's commitment Ninja. to the game Ninja. here. He leaves the mask Ninja. down. Ninja. Answer. Ninja. Uh, Ninja. Ninja is right, and you guys do it. I can't believe this, Eric. You're going to detention as a pirate. Teachers win the game. Oh, that was my man, Sean. Yeah, the broom sticks are out, and Iron Man knows it. They just swept the round. Get you guys the 20-point lead up to 70 points right here. Hey, we're going to be right back to see if our superhero teachers have super spelling skills. Don't go anywhere. Well, welcome back to the classroom and happy Halloween, everybody. On the show today, it's the students and teachers from Perky Omen Valley Middle School East in Montgomery County. Look how good this audience looks. What's up? Yeah! Everybody is in theme. Hey, show of hands, who's going trick or treating tonight? Who's going trick or treating tonight? And what's your favorite candy? Twix. Twix, you can definitely go trick or treating for me because that's the worst candy in the world. How about you? Snickers. Snick, now that's somebody I can get down with. Hey, whether what candy you like, it doesn't matter. We're all eating today, and we're going to try to spell it right now. Reese's, R-E-E-S-E-S. -E -E -S. Let's go. <laughs> we have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing will get 10 points for their team. OK, today's theme is, of course, Halloween. We're going to start with the team leading the game right now. It's the teachers. Mr. Bonehart, you, oh, you are a good looking Iron Man. All right, here we go. You ready to do this? Yes. Trick. Trick. T-R-I-C-K. Good job. Scared. S-C-A-R-E-D. Good job. Spooky. S-P-O-O-K-Y. Mrs. Dolan gets it right. Monster. M-O-S-T-E. M-O-N. Sorry, bud, you're out of there. Coffin. C-O-F-F-I-N. Mr. K holds it down. October. O-C-T-O-B-E-R. Good Off job, Sean. Spider. S-P-I-D-E-R. Good work. Wizard. Wizard. W-I-Z-A-R-D. Matilda gets it right again. Werewolf. 
W-E-R-E-W-O-L-F. Good job. Haunted. H-A-U-N-T-E-D. Costume. C-O-S-T-U-M-E. Skeleton. S-K-E-L-E-T-O-N. Students too well holding down here. Scarecrow. Scarecrow, S-C-A-R-E-C-R-O-W. Good job. Revolting. R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G. Good job, buddy. Graveyard. Graveyard, G-R-A-V-E-Y-A-R-D. Hold it down, okay. Broomstick. Broomstick, B-R-O-O-M-S-T-I-C-K. Good job, that's a lot of letters. Mysterious. M-Y-S-T-E-R-I-O-U-S. -E okay, teachers stay perfect. Witchcraft. Uh, W-I-T-C-H-C-R-A-F-T. Good job, buddy. Frightening. Frightening, F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-I-N-G. All right. Ghoulish. Ghoulish, G-H-O-U-L-I-S-H. Wow! Okay, Halloween episode, theme killing it in spell check. Really lost one person. I'll tell you what, you guys are rocking. That gets you up to 100 points, teachers. Students up to 70, but I'm putting some more points on the line right now. Extra credit. I'm gonna ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers. The correct answer is worth 10 points. Now, before you go out trick or treating, here's your question. What is the name of the Disney cartoon character who sings the song, I've Got No Strings? Hey, do you know the answer? I'm gonna give it to you right here when Superman returns on The Classroom. I meant Clark Kent. I think I just told him who I Welcome back to this special edition of The Classroom. We are having a fabulous time on this Halloween edition of the show. Today we have students and teachers from Perky Omen Valley Middle School East in Montgomery County. Teachers in the lead, 100 points. Students hot on their heels. That's right, they're chasing them down because they want what's in their buckets. It's not candy tonight, it's points. Now before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. What is the name of the Disney cartoon character who sings the song, I've got no strings. Here's a hint, guys. It kind of looks like this. A little NSYNC style. All right, we're going to start over here with Matilda. Eighth grader, you said. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is right. There you go. Gets you to 80 points. The question remains, though, did the teachers see this movie? <laughs> Pinocchio. Pinocchio. How about it? Was Iron Man just giving a, a Pope Pinocchio? There, yo, he does it all over here. All right. Students, if you win that $500, what are you going to do with it? We're going to put it towards our backstage lounge. Oh, what? You, first of all, you have a lounge? Yes. And you could just, and you could just chill in there and do whatever? Um, it's a reward for good behavior. So you're like, yo, I'm just going to the lounge. Peace. And it's like a Starbucks. And you just get to go chill? It's during lunch. All right, nice. And have you guys all three been in the lounge yet? I'm going next week. Oh, okay. Next week, too. And Sean's like, nah, man, no one's ever invited me. <laughs> no, I've already been. Okay, see, that's, the, that's called clout, Sean, and you just got it here on the show. All right, and uh, teachers, 500 for you guys would go a long way. What are you going to do with it? Uh, we're going to take that money, and we're going to have coffee and donuts every Friday, of first Friday of the month. I love that idea. As a teacher, you got me with coffee and donuts free yes, on a Friday. Yes. Every teacher at home right now is going, yes, good idea. Hey, uh, you know what the money would be good, good, is $500 would take you on a field trip anywhere. But today, we're jumping on a bus. We're going for free. Let's go. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Okay, today we're taking a field trip to Lynn Villa Orchards for some Halloween fun. Jen Frederick from Fox 39's Good Day Philadelphia is asking the questions today. I'm sure it's all going to be about something to do with this holiday. Here's Jen. Everybody, you know I love a field trip, and where else would you come this time of year? Pumpkins, 
the hayride, everything. Of course, we're in Lynn Villa in Media, Delaware County. I love this place is their slogan. And guess what? I love this place. All right, so our first question, we're gonna stay on theme. Check this out. This is something associated with Halloween. What is the term for a pumpkin that is carved with a face or an image? First one in, Iron Man. Jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern is right, gets you guys up to 120. Students, I saw you guys trying to buzz in over there. You got to be a little bit quicker. He does have an iron thumb. And we move to Jen with this question at number two. This one is spooky, but I think you might get it. In the 2017 movie It, what floating object indicates that the clown Pennywise is nearby? First one in, Matilda. Balloon. A balloon, a red balloon is right. Good job, Matilda. Gets you guys the 90 points. Let's see who's gonna grab this final toss up question. Jen, I gotta get a pumpkin, so make sure you bring one home for me. But how about the third question? And finally, whether you love them or you think they taste like a crayon, traditional candy corns come in three colors, orange, white, and what other color? Mr. B jumps the question. Yellow. Yellow is right, that man loves candy corn. Get you guys up to 1.30, that's gonna shut it down for the field trip. Thank you, Jen, for taking us to the Villa Orchards. That place is absolutely beautiful. How about this? Speaking of beautiful, these scores are awesome. Teachers, 1.30, students right in jumping distance. I mean, you guys can win this thing big time. Talk about bragging rights, am I right, Sean? Yeah. You think you'd rub it in when you went back to school? Yeah. Would you do it in that cool pirate hat? No. Okay, well, there you go. It won't be Halloween then. Hey, both teams still have a chance to win. Shut it down, guys. We're going to final exam. Here's the topic today. The final exam is R words. This means every answer starts with the letter R. I'll say it again. The first word of your answer must start with the letter R. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions on our final exam topic. You get it right, guys? 100 points for your team. You'll work together during the commercial break. But first, I'm gonna give you these questions. Good luck. Here's your final exam. What is the name of the long horseshoe shaped major belt of volcanoes and earthquakes that rims the Pacific Ocean? Question two on R words in Teen Titans Go! What is the name of the human demon hybrid from the parallel dimension of Azeroth, who is one of the five main members of the group? Finally, as a result of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which ended the Mexican American War, Mexico recognized what river? as the border between Texas and Mexico. All right, there are your questions, guys. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it and come up with their answers. Will it be our pirate, Matilda, in her tux, ready to go, our Prince Akeem, or will Iron Man, Mrs. Dolan, our special Wonder Woman, and Woody come back to win this thing and hold on tight. When we come back, we're gonna find out. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclashroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back into the classroom, and I hope you're having a fantastic Halloween. Today we have students and teachers from Perkyoma Valley Middle School going head to head. I love a good Halloween episode of anything and we're killing it today on the classroom. Students, teachers, both looking so good and you guys should. Going into the final exam, points where they should be. Teachers 130, a little bit of a lead over our students with 90 who are one question away from jumping on top of them. Now, the topic of today's final exam is R words. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer is gonna get them 100 points. I will say this, during commercial break, a little bit of chatter back and forth. Zarek, you gotta head back to school. If you can win this thing today, are you gonna talk a little trash? What are you thinking? Totally. <laughs> Is there anybody in particular you're going to be going after? Probably Mr. Bronehold. <laughs> All right, so we're going after Iron Man. My question is, does he wear this back in school? And if he does, uh, can you beat up Iron Man? The question. I mean, it's, Probably. Yeah, probably, yeah, definitely. All right, now look. If you guys ace this thing, you're going to have every right to brag. All right, let's see how well you guys do. We're going to jump right into it. Our words. Here we go. What is the name of the long, horseshoe-shaped major belt of volcanoes and earthquakes that rims the Pacific Ocean? 
We're gonna start with our students. Sean, you're dressed up as a pirate, missing the eye patch though. You Rim said? Thing. Rim thing. That's my favorite answer of all time. It does start with R, but no points on the rim thing. And then we go back to Mr. K, Mr. Kersinger. What did you say, Woody? I said, ring of fire. That is right. Gets them up to 230. They have some points on the board here. In Teen Titans Go, what is the name of the human demon hybrid from the parallel dimension of Azeroth, who is one of the five main members of the group? Before we see this answer, guys, let's all say a big happy birthday to our man Zarek over here. Let's give a big round of applause. You are the king today, my dude. And on his birthday, can he get the R word right? Zarek. Raven. Raven is right, and he gets it right. Keeps this game tight, but here we go. Teachers, you're probably saying we can win this thing right here. You absolutely can, Wonder Woman. If you get this right, they cannot come back. The game is over. Did you say Raven on this Halloween-themed episode? Raven, she did! Put the mask down, Iron Man. You guys are officially super $500. Hey, how about a resort of the treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo? That was Rio Grande. I hope you guys got that right. Thank you for being here. How about a Rocky Balboa in SUNY? Happy Halloween, everybody! These costumes are awesome!